Hey Tubers, welcome back for another adventure. So we are going to take this mini bike engine to come to Power Sport, Power Sport 1991 vintage. What happened to it is somebody pulled the governor out of it. Uh, I think they overheated it. The fins were all um, clogged up. When it overheated, it um, dropped the valve. Valve got hammered and so forth. So in this video, we're going to go step by step and fix it. We're going to replace the head and do everything else we need to do to bring it back to life. Put a lot of time into this video. I hope you guys watch it and enjoy it. Thanks. I find that the best way of dealing with something when you're waiting for parts and all is to put it all back together again. So I just got to take one moment here to uh, go through the trouble of... Uh, of getting the valve cover off it's also handy I don't know if you could see it off camera I have a little tray I'm putting these uh, bolts into right that way when it's time to put it together one doesn't discover how many things are missing so obviously as you're looking at this I mean <laughs> the valve spring doesn't belong there Right, you can see the valve is loose, and it appears as if the valve guy got loose too. We're going to take this apart, right, not hard to do. Right, just spin this out. And I'm going to do the same thing on this guy. So, while I'm doing that, let's give the camera a quick rest. Okay, so one of them is out. And there goes the second one. Now, here sits some of the carnage. Right, you can see that is the guide is loose. Got a push rod. I don't know where the other push rod went to. Maybe somebody's already been in here. So, next, we got to get the carburetor loose. Right. Once again, just a couple of bolts, not all that hard. So, whenever you find a destroyed engine, it always gets interesting. So I took that push rod out. This one appears to be missing and I don't see pieces of it or bent or it's stuck in here. When you look at the valve, and by the way, I have the piston up so it's holding the valve to keep it from falling in. The end of the valve is really, really hammered. I mean, like you can't slip the guide back over because it's, it's mushroomed, right? So that's first of all. And the exhaust is not at all mushroomed. It appears as if there's oil up here, it's oily. So I'm not quite sure why that would happen. Unless they were running the intake valve crazy loose for a long period of time. Anyway, um, enough diagnosis. Hopefully, I, um, I did buy a um a head to replace it right valve springs head i also bought a push rod so i have about uh 40 bucks out <laughs> between everything on this thing the engine i mean it came as part of a deal we could call it free so i'm about to put 40 dollars into an engine that i can replace easily for a hundred um, let's hope that uh, this deal works out. Anyway, to get the carburetor off, two bolts, slip the linkage, slip a couple of hoses, carburetors off, so I'm going to do that now. So when you take things apart, you really don't want to break them, right? Get the gas tank off, you got two bolts, right? One, two, obviously the gas line. Now it's kind of moving. And if you look right here, it just snaps right in. So we're just going to very gently pop that right off. I'm going to use two hands, so I'm going to put the camera down. Okay, so it actually slid off backwards. 
Next thing, we want to get this cover off. Right. Looks like I got one bolt here. It's only a matter of time before I spill oil on the bench. Right. This one down here. There's another one on the other side. So I'm going to get all these loose. Hopefully that takes the cover off. Right. We've got some other covers. Um... So, it's just a matter of disassembly, a few bolts, and the head should be right off. Okay, to get this cover off, one bolt, two bolt, spark plug wire, lift it right on off. Now, looking at this, looking at the clogged up fins, right down here, I'm wondering... If this thing wasn't getting enough air, it overheated. So that would have made the valve drag in the guide, which makes sense because it popped the guide out. But also, as it's dragging, the um, the uh, tappet there, the um, arm would have been hammering on this more and would have mushroomed it. So I'm wondering if this thing didn't overheat which is what caused all its problems. Anyhow, we're getting closer and closer. Um, covers loose. So, I mean, that just slips right off. And if we remove, looks like one, two, three, four, five bolts, we'll pop the head right off and we'll see what kind of bad things happen. These look like half inch. So, I think we'll just pop a half inch on here and tap them out. Easy enough. God. <laughs> Automatic tools are wonderful, aren't they? Alright, let's pop that off and see what's cooking. It's always cool to see exactly what happened to an engine after trouble like this. So one could see the valve was obviously tapping around on there. Um, the rings look like they're in pretty decent shape, right? I'm not, there's, um, right, you can kind of see if you can take your thumb and move the piston around, right? Bridge doesn't say I don't think this engine has a lot of miles on it. I think, believe it or not, this head might even be savable. Right? It doesn't doesn't look bad. It is kind of chewed up in there a little bit. Obviously it popped the guide out. Uh, I looked for guides and I did not find them. So unless I'm just going to pound the old one in, you know, put it in the freezer, get it cool, warm this up a little bit and put the um put the old one back in. I uh I didn't see a listing for guides. So anyway, we have a a new head to put on here, but if you look down there, you see another problem. If you look where the push rods are supposed to go. See how this one Wow, it looks like we might have found another problem. So the push rods go in here and you can see that's the exhaust. This is the intake. And as I turn the engine over, see how I don't know, we could call that a cam follower, is going up and down. And you see how the one for the intake isn't moving? So I don't know if that's seized in there or what. If it broke the cam, <laughs> old Harvey's not in a good situation. That means this side cover needs to come off. So I'm going to have to get the clutch off and all these bolts and we'll get to look inside. I think while I'm here, I'm going to get rid of the governor, and we'll talk about that. Moving the clutch, easy enough, couple of Allen keys, it slid right off, 
You guys could see the Allen wrench right there. They had those couple of pieces. And you guys could see the keyway there off at the 9 o'clock position. Now it's time, right, just got to tap these out. I didn't drain the oil, so I got it tilted. <laughs> Maybe not enough. I'm going to end up with oil all over the workbench. I think I need to put some more tilt on it. Anyway, we're getting there. We'll see what its last problem is. So before we get too far into taking this whole thing apart, there's a little dot right there on this guy. Hopefully it'll zoom in and show it to you. Yep, you can see the little dot there. And you see how it matches up to that guy? So you want to pay close attention to that. Because that's how you time things back up when it's time to put it all back together again. So that's the first thing I found. Secondly, I heard something tapping around in here. And it turns out the push rod got loose and got in there. Before I took this whole thing apart, I ordered a push rod that it doesn't appear as if I needed to order. Right? And I ordered the head. The push rod delivered to the house was about 10 bucks, and the head was about 25 so um, I, have, I have close to 40 in here. I kind of fished around. I don't feel anything else in the, in the oil. I don't know. They, uh, they looks like they kind of glued things together here. So somebody's been into this engine before. Um, I recommend cleaning it up. I'm glad that the uh, the push rod didn't take out the splasher there. That thing whirls about and just picture oil all on the bottom and that splashes it around make sure everything gets nice and uh, lubricated up. So anyway, let's pull the cam out and see what else is going on. See why the um, the cam followers aren't moving. Here is the cam. It's made out of plastic. Wow, that was a surprise. This thing on the bottom here is what actually drove a gear, which drove the governor. And we could see that somebody already yanked that out. That's a good thing. And you see how I can kind of move this valve and this um, cam follower in and out. Right. And this one. I can't move it. I can't turn it. I can't do anything. This is for the intake valve. And until I get that freed up, the valve isn't going to go up and down. It's just going to be, it's stuck in the up position. So we got to get this loose. I'm going to try to kind of turn it a little bit and work its way out. My concern is that the end in that way is mushroomed. So I might just have to tap it up and then try to clean it up and then move it down. I don't know. I'm going to have to fuss with it a little bit. Yeah, it's in there. It's in there really good. So wish me luck. Okay, here we go. We got the cam follower moving. Um, to be honest, it is a little bit. Am I showing it to you? There you go. The end of it's a little bit hammered on. I cleaned it up with some uh, wet dry, uh, what is that, thousand grit paper. Made sure I got all the filings off of it. Then I, um, <laughs> it wasn't pretty, but I, I put the rat tail through the, um, through the hole there. Made sure that's clean got any rough edges off of it so it's moving nice and smooth now right no problem doesn't stick anywhere you, you know it's we're all good now I just got to clean it up and put it all back together again <laughs> oh fun fun I'm also going to drain the oil and put a gasket on this right no use in having it leak all over the place then it'll be useless we might just get this engine running Okay, I made a paper gasket. You guys can see I got the timing. 
and you guys can see all the stuff I fished out of the oil pan. It's reassembly time. Okay, I think you guys can see the cam followers are both moving up and down down there. That's a good thing. <laughs> so let's keep putting it back together. Okay, we got things moving. By the way, it is crazy easy to drop this intake push rod back into the engine case. So hang on to it as you're putting things together. Now, I think you guys could see the little gap I have here. And right, the tiny little gap I have there. So, you know, um, I have a tendency to run valves loose. But one also has to be careful with that because it'd be easy to uh, to chuck the uh, <laughs> to chuck the uh, push rods or get these things sideways. Once they get sideways, you can knock the clips off and so forth. So you really do have to watch the valve gap on this. I just want to get this thing set up enough that I see if I can't get it started. So. Then I'll go back, I'll cap everything to spec, right? Like, to me, that, that looks loose. But then when you, uh, you get in here and you check the gap out, there's really not much. So, anyway, I'm not in love with this whole thing. <laughs> Maybe this is why Tecumseh went out of business. Okay, I want to give this a quick uh, cold start. I'm just going to start it on starting fluid. I've already put oil in it. I'm going to give it a couple of hoots. Let's hope for the best. Okay, let's see what happens. So, <laughs> it started at this point. I better stop because the wife's going to smell it and then I'm going to get yelled at and you guys will get to hear it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this series. So it cost me about 40 bucks to put this engine back into shape. I really wanted to bring it to life because I have a Baja Warrior. Um, no, a Baja Bug that I think this engine will just look good on, right? It's just just got the right look for that. I also have an Arco um, that's uh, about 20 years newer than this. I have a few mini bikes. I'm not sure which one it's going to be put on, but it, it just looks right for that kind of thing. So I do want to set it up. It's going to be a simple mini bike, just centrifugal clutch, no torque converter, nothing too interesting like that. So I don't know. A lot of people could argue. Did it pay to fix this? So, once again, 40 bucks and about four hours worth of labor. You guys get to answer that. <laughs> I want to thank you all for dropping by to watch and comment and subscribe. Please remember, feet down, heads up, and get out there and enjoy each and every day. Bye now.